What's good YouTube? This is your boy Dr. ZZ. Today I'm gonna talk to you about the top five things. I wish somebody would have told me about black. I personally did not know a few of these things and only learned it through my journey. This will help you quite immensely and help you be very well prepared before you think of going down the black path. First things first, understand that this will take time. It's a long journey. It's not something that you can do it quickly and just head on. There are so many barriers to this. You have to make sure you have to do your IELTS or your OET and get the required scores. So that takes time. Then you have to wait for your PLAB 1 exam. Sometimes now in this kind of situation in a Corona pandemic, a lot of exams are not being held. So in that case, exams will be delayed. So your PLAB 1 will be delayed. Now even PLAB 2, people aren't able to get dates. So that's gonna be delayed. So it's gonna be a long journey. So make sure you understand it, know it, so that way you're prepared for it. The next thing is internship. Dr. Zizi, do I need to do internship in my home country to do PLAB? Now that question itself is not right because that shows that the person has not understand the difference between PLAB and GMC registration. So PLAB is just licensing exams. So for that, you might not need your internship. So you can do PLAB 1, PLAB 2, you're straight after your university once you've got your diploma. You will only need your internship when you're applying for a registration. GMC requires you to do three to six months in surgery and three to six months in medicine to apply for a full registration. If you do not have an internship, then you will only get a provisional registration. So what does that mean? If you have a provisional registration, you are only eligible to a job of an FY1. Uh, you have to understand that there are only few vacancies available for FY1 doctors. They give first priority to their own graduates, people from their own country, only then comes the foreign medical graduate. So if you're going to be getting provisional registration, the chances of you landing FY1 job is quite low. To increase your chances of getting a job in the UK, you need to get a full registration. So to get your full registration, what do you need? Yes, you need to have an internship following your university. So if you have an internship, you can apply for a full registration and hence get an FY2 post. And FY2 posts are widely available. So you will get a job easier than if you were just holding a provisional registration. This brings me to my third point. Become a registered doctor in your country. So now you guys understand that you guys do need an internship. For that, you have two options. Either you do an internship from the university that you graduated in, but you have to make sure if that internship is recognized by the GMs. Some countries they allow, but some countries they do not accept the internship. In which case, like mine, for example, I had to come back to my country and get registered here. That's why it's also important and recommended that you become registered in your country as a doctor first. If you do that, you will be then eligible to do an internship in your country, which will once again then help you to full registration and then land an FY2 job much faster. Number four, police clearance certificate. Now this is a thing, it's so not talked about and I wish somebody would have told me. It's not much of a big problem, but it's better if you do remember that. If you are studying abroad, when you will be applying for your tier two visa. This is after you have completed your PLAB 1, PLAB 2, after you have completed your GMC registration, and now you have secured a job offer. When you're applying for the tier two visa, the visa officer will ask you a police clearance certificate from all the countries that you've stayed in. So at that point, when you start looking for these documents, you'll be like, oh damn, I was in that country so long ago and I did not even get a police clearance certificate. The best thing is if you are in that country, and if you're planning to graduate or if you're about to graduate, make sure that you get a police clearance certificate from that country that you have studied in. So when the time comes for you to apply for your tier two visa, you have all your documents in order. Moving on to the next one. And number five, I know I'm gonna get hate for this because I have got hate for this before. It is guys going to cost you a bit of money. Oops, I said it. I can actually sense the haters going down. Hey, you just care about money. You are such a sellout. Guys, it is what it is. This is an expensive exam, so it's very important to know that you are financially ready to take this exam. It will only increases your chance to succeed in these exams. If you are a foreign medical graduate and you don't live in the UK, then a complete round off value for these exams would be approximately up to 4,000 to 5,000 USD. That includes 
the PLAB 1 exam, the PLAB 2 exams, the coaching classes, the training classes, the IELTS, the flight tickets, the staying in the UK, all of that. That's why I feel that you know if people have a bit of financial issues, it's better for you to come back to your country first, right? Get yourself registered as a doctor there so you do get your internship number one and following your internship you can start working and when you do start working you can earn some money when you do earn that money you can save it and then when you can save it finally you can use that saved hard-earned money to go and do plab and increase your chance to success and before you head off quick announcement i'm going to be coming out with another video a question and answer video where you guys can ask me whatever questions that you guys have and I will pick a couple of questions and answer it on the video format. So make sure you leave all the questions in the comment section below, okay? So that's up for this video guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, click the red subscribe button. This is your boy Dr. Zizi signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.